evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Her Screen Family Church's Drama Night. What's tonight about? Well, it's about the big questions. <coughs> about things like life and death and the bit in between. It may be that you only ever think about the bit in between and never even consider the other bits. But maybe in those quiet, melancholy moments, you might stop and wonder, wonder about life, how it all began, how it all started, where you came from. And maybe sometimes you, if you're getting a little older like me, begin to think about death maybe. And, and, and is it really the end? And, and, and what happens afterwards? And of course, yeah, there is an important bit in between. And that's about living life. And that's what tonight is all about. We've got three sketches for you tonight. One about life. One about death. And one about the in-between. So, life. How did it really all begin? Good evening, sir. What can I get you? Uh, bottle of Stella, please, farmer. Bottle of Stella coming up. That's uh, £2.50, please. I assumed you wanted it in a glass. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. How are you doing, Max? I'm alright, but you know, I like to think sometimes. Do you? Let the mind wander into the uncharted territories of space and time. Wow. Yet yeah, you see, the universe in which we live is something that we very often take for granted. I've never really thought about it. Well, that's my point. For instance, the stars in the sky. Do you know how many there are? No, how many? Well, well, there's, well, there's, there's lots. See, the universe is a fascinating place. Well, it's big, isn't it? It is infinite, Barry. That's even bigger then. Whoever invented, someone must have had a lot of imagination. Imagination? Yeah, I mean, whoever invented all that stuff like zebras, for example. Zebras? I've always thought they were clever, to be honest. Barry, what are you talking about? Nobody invented... Nobody invented zebras. They're part of... Well, they're, they're, they're part of Mother Nature's natural evolutionary process. Right. What? Some other nature invented them? No! no they just happened. You see, in the oh, beginning, well. the universe was it's created by this it's huge nice. explosion. Blimey, how's that? Well, I don't know. It was an accident, I suppose. An accident? I mean, I'll have to be more careful. I mean, it would be a little bit funny if I suddenly spilt my pint and then all of a sudden I've got giraffes and zebras running all over the pub. Barry, let me explain. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing. Not a sausage. You see, this was before recorded history. So how do you know then? It was before recorded history. How do you know if it was before recorded history? You could be guessing. Barry, can I get back to my point, please? Okay. Right, fine. So, all of a sudden, it exploded. <laughs> what? Nothing exploded. Well, obviously something did. So what was that then? Well, it was... Well, it was... Well, it was nothing. Well, you just said there was nothing? Yeah, well... There 
must have been a bit of something. What, and then somebody blew it up? No one blew it up! So why did it explode? Was it having a bad day? Gosh, it's really boring here with all this nothing around. I think I'll just explode and see if a universe pops up. Barry, it was all done in a very controlled and scientific way. Oh, we see. The Big Bang! Bang! Nothing. Yeah! Well, yes! And that's how we got zebras? Yes! Pretty good science then. Yeah! Aha! Do you know that patio my mum wants me to do for her? Do you think I could use it for a bit of science on that? Nothing. Bang! Patio? You could try, Barry. Yeah, because that would be really convenient, wouldn't it? Could save me getting all those paving stones from being and because they're really heavy. Especially having to get loads of sand as well. Time, ladies and gentlemen, please.